created opportunities, but they all went astray through bad passing and bad handling at critical moments. Cronulla, however, showed plenty of backline flair with the likes of Ettinghausen and Docking, Hurst and McGaw showing their pace and their positional expertise. South Sydney never gave up, but this Cronulla side has plenty to offer in the way of toughness up front and discipline in the backs. Do you see it that way? Yeah, Rex, uh, they're, they're a very disciplined side, Cronulla, and uh, that's one of the reasons we've been going so well, because we've been playing that brand of football too, where we try to reduce our error rate. And in this particular game, uh, we squandered possession and we put ourselves under pressure. Actually, we made more breaks than Cronulla did, but we failed to capitalise on it, and consequently, we put ourselves behind the eight ball. Yes, I saw the game, full game on tape, and you did create a lot of opportunities. There were a number of occasions when a try looked like it was going to happen, but something always happened at the wrong moment. But you'd had a pretty tough game in the midweek. Yeah, well, uh, that's no real excuse. It, it, um, it's, a tough, it's a tough thing playing midweek, but uh, I still think we could have won the game. It was 6-0 with about 15 minutes to go, and uh, we had opportunities, we just let them go. Yes, well, there's young Roberts getting his pass away, and it's out to Chisholm. He's one of your underrated forwards in your side, too. He's been going great guns for us, Wayne Chisholm, and uh, he's a good tackler, and he's got a lot of strength, and he's got a lot of pace as well. I was uh, not pleased to see, but I think for the good of the side at this stage, young Brad Webb is well out of first grade. He needs to have a season in reserve grade, the young centre, to just sharpen up on his handling skills. Uh, you'll be reading a lot more about Bradley Webber. He's come straight out of the President's Cup into first grade, and it's, it's a very hard act to follow, and uh, he needs to go back to the second grade and just get his act together, and uh, I'm sure he'll be back in first grade before long. Yes, I wouldn't argue that. That was a beautiful pass there from uh, Ellison to get it on to Nixon to score the try. Incidentally, Nixon had an interesting afternoon. He started out as a 5'8". Uh, he went to lock forward and finished up as hooker. Yeah, he was in the wings. <laughs> That's what you call a, uh, a full afternoon. Let's have a look at a few things in this uh, match. The phenomenal handling of Eddinghausen. There's Brad Webb, unfortunately, putting one down. Now, the in incredible handling of this fellow and his ability to kick and chase and his pace. I thought there should have been a penalty to Cronulla at the end of this, but the referee thought otherwise. Some of the South Sydney players, uh, as I would have done in a similar circumstance, made sure he couldn't get a play of the ball and knock the ball out of his hands. But uh, the... Uh, Getting back to Brad Webb again, and I'm not carrying the bag for... Uh, I'm not making a, a criticism of this lad in, in non-constructive terms, but here was one of the many breaks made. And just look where the pass goes. He's got support on the inside, or even wider, and the pass just goes nowhere. Yeah. And that's the that's sort of thing... That's just an experience, Yes, Rex. I realise. But um, you can't afford it in the first grade side. No, well, uh, George has realised that, and... Uh, it's, it'll do the kid good too. He's got to go back and just get his act together because it'll ruin him if he, he was to stay there. And uh, he'll go back and get his act together and uh, I'm sure he'll be back. One final little incident to do with the rules. I like to see referees being consistent. Carney here was tackled. If the man holding the ball is tackled in such a way that his forward progress has stopped or the hand or arm coming in contact with the ground, He's tackled, and yet he was allowed to get to his feet, pass the ball, and go on they go. And that sort of refereeing bugs me a little bit. Yeah, well, it's hard to maintain uh, consistency like that. It's a, it's, a, it's a line ball decision thing, and you just got to wear it. That's what you've got to do, and that's what Mario Fenix doing this year. He's not getting agitated at all about those sort of things. We're going to take a break, and we'll be about this. South in the game against Western Suburbs at Redford yesterday, total forward dominance in the early part of the game, had Wests on the rack before they could really catch their breath. South Sydney led 17-2 after 30 minutes and looked set for a cricket score. However, West hit back with a try just before half-time, which shortened the score to 17-8. I'll ask Mario what uh, Piggins said about that try in a minute. The front row of Davidson, Fennick and Roberts locked up the middle of the ruck. West became frustrated and started to make mistakes. And then with Coleman feeding magnificent passes, Jura at 5'8", looking like a lifetime pivot, and the reluctant fullback Neil Baker uh, constantly turning them around with great kicks. West were eventually outplayed 29-14. That was five tries to two. And there's Bronco Jura going in for the first one. What did the, uh, your coach say about that try you let them in for it just before half-time? Well, he, he was obviously very disappointed. Uh, we had him on the rack and uh, we gave him a little bit of a sniff and that's what we were worried about with West because they, uh, they never give up and... Uh, George just told us to get our act together and uh, prepare for a tough second half. Now, Baker's kicking game really worked magnificently. Not that it hasn't been working all year, but uh, he, uh, he really found the line with a lot of long ones yesterday. Three, I can remember, of 50 yards and more, and they really break the opposition's back, don't they? Well, Neil's, Neil's probably... I, I honestly think Neil's the best kicker in the game in terms of goal kicking and all-around skill in, in kicking. He, he can land it on a 10 cent piece, Neil. Certainly can. We'll talk about Coleman, too. He had a good game, but I thought Baker could have scored that try himself there, and I'm always against... An additional pass being risked. Yeah, it's a risk thing, but uh, fortunately it worked out all right for us, and uh, Neil performed quite uh, capable there. Now, there was another try out of character to South Sydney because uh, uh, Burns was able to score that through what looked like thin defence, and he'd been tight as a rock up until that moment. So we can't afford to give them tries away, Rex, because once we start playing the top-class sides, if you give away cheap tries like that, you've, you've got no hope. 
Look at that pass there to Bronco That was a cheeky little pass. And what a beauty. That's worth a look later on. We'll show you that again because you don't see skills like that. Big bruiser Clark came on very heavy and very strong there. And this the is a bit disappointing for us. Um, we sort of hung off. We, we were expecting him to call Hill type of thing, you know. Yeah. But, uh, but he was still moving forward. He yeah. hadn't accepted the tackle, had he? Now, uh, Epifania seemed to get to this. What did the referee rule? Did he really drop it? Yeah, he quite clearly dropped yeah. the direction. It was a good decision on the referee's part because it was very hard to, and awkward to see. We'll talk about this incident a little later on too because it uh, uh, astonished me to see that Ian Shiver give the time off signal there. We'll come back to that in a moment. That's not a captain's prerogative to do that, but he got five minutes, I think, for cheek. And I think he was told to look at uh, the referee when he was talking to him and Schubert declined to do that. Another magnificent pass there from Coleman to get uh, Moon in. Moon's got plenty of pace when he gets in the clear, hasn't he? Uh, David's been a great acquisition to our side and uh, he's a good, strong defensive player and uh, he's been attacking very well for us. He certainly has. Let's have a look at the two magic passes that I classify as exceptional. And this was the first one coming up from Coleman. Now watch Dura. Now Coleman gets behind the defence of Clark and pops the ball between that of another player. So really it was an astonishing bit of skill. And that was beautifully taken. And here's another beautiful pass. Just runs a few paces, holds the pass up, and Moon's on the burst right in between two Western Suburbs players without a hand being laid on him. And there was no try there. It was man for man. And those are the exceptional things that happen. This is one of the funniest incidents I've seen for a long while. I suggest, Mario, you might have had a bit of a giggle about this because you have in the past been in trouble with referees. Now, Ian Sherbert, several weeks ago, got himself into a situation with another referee where he said he would never... Uh, get involved. He, he actually gave away the captaincy on the day that day. And here he is again. Now watch him here. He won't look at the referee. He's looking away and then he signals to the, the timekeeper that he wants time off. And at that point the referee said, well I'll give you time off, take five. Yeah, well Ian was just getting a bit heated and uh, we, we were in front by a fair way and the game was just about all over and uh, he was just a bit disappointed I suppose in the heat of the moment. He just... Uh, talked to be too much in the referee. Yeah, well, that's, uh, I think it's all to do with the way you talk. I mean, you can say you, a, a captain can go to a referee at any time during the game, provided he does it in such a fashion that he's not going to offer any offence. Well, it's important you get, you get on well with the referee because uh, you've got to be able to communicate to him. And uh, fortunately, uh, the referees these days are uh, talking to you like men and uh, you can have a good conversation and uh, sort things out because we've got to control the game, captains and referees. Certainly have. OK, well, let's get on to today's games and let's have... A... Incidentally, when we talk about the Parramatta-Illawarra game here this year, let's hope you might get a taste of the representative stuff that you so long to be in. Yeah. And good luck with South Sydney. They're playing good football. Thanks very much, Rex. OK, Mario Fennick, one of the young lions of... Uh...